Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a very complex problem. We have 3 to the power z equals negative 9 and we're going to be solving for z values. I'm also going to show you some interesting results which we are going to verify. Alright, so first of all think about this problem. 3 to the power z is equal to a negative number. Can z be real? Well, can z be 2, for example, right? 3 to the power 2 is 3 times 3, which is 9. It's not positive. But can we just put a minus sign maybe inside? But we don't have the negative 3 at the base. Even if we did, could we get negative 9 out of it? By just squaring it. What is negative 3 squared? It's also positive 9. The result doesn't change. That doesn't help. But what if we put a minus sign in the front like this. No, you can't do that. So what do we do? Can z be negative 2? No, that's going to give us the reciprocal. So we're stuck, right? We don't really get anything like that. But just remember what we kind of experimented with and we didn't get a result, but at the end, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay? Definitely, the solution is going to be a little bit more complicated than this, but we're going to get back to this. Great. So now, first of all, I want you to consider the comple complexification of number th 3 and negative 9. How do we complexify these numbers? In other words, and I don't really need to do it on the 3, do I? Let's go ahead and explore, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write the 3 using E as a base. And we can do this uh, using a very well-known identity. Uh, which is e to the power ln x equals x. So 3 can be written as e to the power ln 3 because at the end of the day, e to the x and ln x, which is natural log, are inverse functions. So they basically undo each other, giving us the identity, right? So from here, we get the following. Raise both sides to the power z. You get 3 to the z equals e to the ln 3 to the power z. And then by multiplying the exponents, you get e to the power ln 3 times z, but that's kind of confusing, so we better write it as e to the power z ln 3. z is the unknown, e is known, it's Euler's number, it's 2.7-ish, right? And we're going to solve for z. But how do we do that? We also need to do something on the right-hand side, so we want to get basically the e as a base, and then we can kind of natural log. Make sense? Okay, that's the idea. So how do we complexify negative 9? Um, without further ado, I'm just going to tell you what it is. Negative 9 is 9 times negative 1. And in the complex world, negative 1 can be written as e to the power i pi. Easy, right? i pi, that's it. Because if you consider the number uh, with an argument of pi, it's going to be on the real uh, negative real axis. Okay? But pi is not the only angle because e to the power 3i pi is also negative 1. By the way, think about it. e to the 3i pi is e to the i pi cubed. If you cube negative 1, you get negative 1. Be very careful because with complex numbers, things are a little complex. For example, negative 1 has 3 cube roots, but it only has 1 cube. Make sense? Okay, cool. Now, let's go ahead and consider a more general approach here and just add multiples of 2 pi to this to consider all possibilities. So we're going to have infinitely many solutions. n is an integer. Okay? Great. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and plug these in because everything is in polar form, thanks to Euler. Now, on the left, we have the guitar. I mean, e to the power z ln 3. And on the right-hand side, we have 9 times e to the power i times pi plus 2 pi n. Awesome. Now, what do we do next? We natural log both sides. Okay, let's do it. And that's going to give us the following. You can basically just insert ln here and ln here. It's going to be hard to fit, but hopefully we can do it. Now, this is going to be the coefficient or multiplier, whatever. Z ln 3, ln e is 1, so that's gone. And this is the ln or natural log of a product, which turns into the sum of two lns. But again, when you ln e to the power something, it's just going to be that power. So 
here's what we're going to get from there. All right. Cool, cool. So far, so good, right? If you've gotten so far, you are good. Okay. And don't worry, if you don't get it, back up and take a deep breath and ask questions. That's why we have comment section, right? Feel free to ask uh, any questions. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and do a little bit of simplifying on the right hand side because I notice I have the pie so I can kind of maybe just take it out and factor it and that's going to give me 1 plus 2n. You know what that means? It actually means a really important thing. Uh, this is an odd number if n is an integer, right? So we're basically talking about odd multiples of pi, like pi 3, pi 5, pi 7, pi. They all give us negative 1 when e to the power that, okay? Cool, cool. Now, here's what we're going to do next. We're going to divide everything by ln 3 because that's going to give us the answer. Easy, right? ln 9 divided by ln 3. And on the right-hand side, I kind of want to do this. I want to multiply the real things. I mean, divide the real things by ln 3 and just multiply by i. So I kind of separated this i and put it at the end. I mean, there's two schools of thought here. Some people write it as a plus bi. Some people write it as a plus ib. Same thing, but in the trigonometric form, obviously, uh, it's usually written as cosine theta plus i sine theta. That's probably why some people prefer a plus ib. But I prefer a plus bi. You know why? Because it's the name of this channel. Good reason, right? Anyways, here's one thing I'd like you to notice here, that ln9 and ln3 are related. They're actually relatives, right? How? ln, uh oh, okay, notability didn't like that comment. ln9 can be written as ln3 squared, which is 2 ln3. So when you replace ln9 with 2 ln3, you're going to get 2 from there. And again, going back to the very beginning, remember I told you that we're going to get back to the 2. So, um, and the other piece, which is the imaginary part, does not simplify, unfortunately, but don't worry. I'm going to give you an approximation and we're going to test something out. This is going to be really cool. But notice that here, wow, the real part is 2. Even though 3 to the power 2 was not equal to negative 9, at least the real part matches. So we kind of got half of the problem, right? When we guessed that, no, not really. Imaginary part is super important. Anyways, that was the real part. But this equation has, should I say that? no real solutions. You know why? Because even if you replace n with 0, you're not going to be able to get rid of the imaginary part. It's just going to be there. It's stuck. Okay. So anyways, if n is equal to 0, you're going to get z equals 2 plus i times something simpler, of course, pi over ln 3. So this is a complex non-real number. And guess what? z is going to be approximately equal to, in this case, 2 plus 2.85 96i. You like that? Okay, that is a complex number in the a plus bi form. Let's go ahead and check something out. What happens if I replace z with that? 3 to the power 2 plus i times pi over ln 3. Let's find out, right? Well, first of all, I can separate these things, right? Can't I? And then we're going to go ahead and do this. 3 squared is equal to 9. And I'm going to go ahead and replace 3 with e to the power ln 3. That's what it is, right? Remember that? And of course, I'm going to multiply it by i pi over ln 3. But when exponents are exponentiated, or exponentials are exponentiated, uh, they're going to be multiplied. So ln 3 is going to cancel out, leaving us with 9 times e to the power i pi, good old e to the power i pi. And th that's what gives us negative 1. Remember that? 9 times negative 1, and that's going to equal negative 9. Yay, we got negative 9. And that brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.